guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am definitely feeling myself because my skin is popping, my hair looks cute, we got some bomb ass earrings on. Just ignore the nails because <laughs> I'm doing a photo shoot later this week and wanted to kind of do like a trial run on like makeup ideas, I guess. I don't know, I just I want to film a video for you guys, so I decided we're just gonna go ahead and you know smuggle a little something, something, have a good vibe going. We got my candles burning, setting good intentions, and I don't know. We're just gonna go ahead and enjoy the ride of whatever kind of masterpiece comes across this face. But yeah, I'm definitely excited because I am going to be providing you guys with a new skincare routine that I've been on. So stay tuned for that video because, girl, I'm obsessed. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, I got a shirt on. Don't be all nasty. Today, the product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Good Molecules... Molecule is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Makeup Primer. Well, Priming Moisturizer. So, um, honestly, I never heard of their brand until they reached out to me, but I guess they're associated with Beautylish. So, I've definitely heard of Beautylish before, but basically, this is just their skincare brand, and they have sent me so many products. I... I honestly am living for them. I haven't tried all of their products that they sent me just because my dermatologist didn't recommend certain ones. But um, today, this is what we are going to be reviewing from them. And it is their Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer by Good Molecules. So this product claims to be formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, a plant-derived silicone alternative. Um, to deeply hydrate, smooth, and nourish the skin. So that's interesting. Basically what it says on the directions is to gently massage onto a cleansed skin when using sunscreen, let priming moisturizer fully absorb before applying. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh wow. This is so different. It looks like lotion. It looks like lotion. It, on, it feels like lotion too. When I hear priming moisturizer, I don't know why it just keeps, it goes to face primer, like just normal face primer, but it feels very, very smooth. And it doesn't have any type of smell to it, which is honestly refreshing because I don't really care for products that have like a lot of fragrance in it. This honestly feels really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and try it on my face. I think I'm going to start with one and a half pumps. I, I mean, I was going to say one, but I kept going. So, <laughs> all right. So, oh my God. Oh, it feels so good. Like I said, there's no smell to it. It's so weird, but it's so nice. Oh my god. So with my skin, I feel like I get really oily around these areas right here. So I just went ahead and added a little bit more of that priming moisturizer right there. Um, wow, this is really nice. And I'm just going to apologize right now in advance if I am looking every which way in this video because I broke my beauty mirror and... Your girl is struggling to be using these little handheld ones while filming, so. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with foundation. Honestly, uh, I always start my routine like this with my foundation first. I don't know. I tried doing it the other way, which I feel like the other way makes more sense because if you're applying your eyeshadow and it, like, drops down, you don't even have foundation on yet and you're good to go. You just wipe it off. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. I think for the longest time, I've just always gotten, I've just always done my face routine like this. I, don't, I really have no idea. Okay, so I haven't used a primer in, honestly, I want to say almost about two years because I feel like, um, I feel like some of them really don't make much of a difference, especially for me being combination too oily. But um, just applying this right now with my foundation only, nothing else, setting powder, nothing. Like, um, I feel like it has made like a subtle difference. 
Is it super major? Um, I think honestly the only way to tell like if it really has made a major difference is to see how my makeup lasts throughout the day because we all know uh, we get primers to make our makeup look nice and last longer so we'll have to see about that. I mean it seems like it's really nice for as just like a regular facial moisturizer to be honest. It seems really hydrating. I'm not sure exactly what makeup look I'm going to go for today. I really don't have any idea in my mind. So so going into the new year, I didn't really set any like major resolutions because I'm one of those people that sets a resolution and never follows through with it. Um, so really, I just made like mini goals. I mean, not a whole resolution, but like... Basically, what I wanted to do was, like, get on more of a schedule for my channel. Like, you know, s certain days filming, certain days editing, and, like, just have a lineup of videos just ready to go. Because I feel like I, I would call myself, like, a creative procrastinator. Like, I have so many ideas on my board for YouTube content. And then by the time I get around to it, I'm like, oh, I guess it's not going to, like, do good or, you know what I mean? So my main goal this year was just to be more organized for you guys, get out content that you guys want. And I do know you guys miss my wig reviews. I am going to be um, filming some reviews for you guys soon. Trust me on that. Because your girl miss is doing some wig reviews too, but I, I don't know. It kind of got, it kind of just got in too much of a routine for me. Like, I don't know. When I, whenever something is just too much of the same, I just cannot handle it. I can't. I need variety in my life. I cannot. I, I, I feel like more of a robot or something when I'm trying to like just experience something new in life. I have no idea what I'm talking about y'all. Like I really don't. <laughs> I just look down at my fucking shirt and there's so much powder. Oh my god you guys can't even see it. I hate when I forget the other blush in my room because then I never want to go get it. Back to what I was saying, I didn't set any, uh, like, specific New Year's resolutions besides getting, like, more organized with my channel. I want to grow fast, you know what I mean? I want to be in a little townhome or something for my little willow to run around in a backyard. So, anyway, um, I'm definitely excited for that self-care Sunday series because... I feel like it's just like a breath of fresh air from the wig reviews and all that other stuff. So if you guys set any New Year's resolutions, let me know down in the comments what they were and if you guys have actually stuck to them. Because, you know, it's still January right now and <laughs> typically people be falling off before the month's over. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera just because I feel like it's boring to watch. Like... Ain't nobody really want to watch somebody do their eyebrows a million times every single video, so I'll be right back. Okay, these eyebrows seen better days, I know, trust me. I know, I know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I think what I want to do... You know what, no, I'm going to just prime it with this. So I'm taking my e.l.f. camo concealer and priming my eyes. Alright, starting off, I'm dipping into the Masquerade palette in the shade Burkina and applying that to my eyelid in the crease and we're going to bring it out all the way towards the brow. If you hear Willow in the background, I'm sorry, she's running around while I'm doing this voiceover, just letting y'all know. <laughs> now we're dipping into the Warrior palette by Juvia's in the shade Kano. As you can see, I love that shade. I honestly feel like I use it 
every single day like no matter what look I'm doing <laughs> it just makes everything blend out so effortlessly and I feel like it looks really good on my skin tone now using the elf 16 hour camel concealer in the shade fair warm I'm gonna go ahead and start carving out to my eyelids um, this part can be I'm not even gonna lie it could be intimidating especially for a beginner just because you have to be kind of precise with it but just take your time follow the natural curve of your eye um, and also don't be afraid to go back in and fix things up I mean I had to go back in and make everything symmetrical because girl it was a little wonky <laughs> now for the sides you can use tape but I didn't have tape so I just drug that concealer all the way out as well and then started going in with Amina and adding some more dimension back into the eye. And then I went back in with Kano as well. Trust me, you just want to, you know, just take your time and add some dimension inside of that eyelet. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I really wanted that line very, very sharp and nice and pigmented and metallic. So I went in multiple times with Amina and really lined that lid. Now I realized I needed to make this pop even more so I took a damp brush and went in the shade Moremi and added that to my inner corners as well as the very edge of that line that we carved out as well. I feel like this really really made a difference because it was brighter and it had more contrast to the look. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> so we're gonna add that to the bottom lash line as well. And I noticed this look was still kind of flat, so I went in with my Androgyny palette with Dominatrix and added that to my inner corners and my bottom lash line. Now, with my winged eyeliner, I just followed that line that we originally carved out with that concealer, and honey, it was so easy, let me tell you. Next time I do this look, I am definitely gonna use tape just to see if I could get something even more dramatic. But using my Siren Beauty lashes in the style Flower, we're gonna go ahead and just amplify this look, y'all. I'm telling you. These lashes, I, I included this clip just to show you guys how easy they were to put on and look at that difference oh my goodness uh, I cannot get over it this was the first time trying like a 25 millimeter lash and let me tell you I was just living for it I can I don't think I can ever go back to like basic lashes at, ever like I'm serious now for the lips I just did like a nice neutral color and added a gloss and then you can see on my face as well I added some faux moles or freckles but, honey, we ended it with the Fenty Beauty, and let me tell you, I was just obsessed with this look. Overall, I really didn't know what I was going to create, but I fell in love with it. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. I know it started off as me talking, and then it went over to a voiceover, but... Hey, I wanted to jam out, listen to some music. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want a tutorial on how I got this hair, honey, then go ahead and comment down below because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to show you guys how I got this cute ass style. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.